Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across an error or a little action center notification that states that you must restart your computer to turn off user account control on Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I always recommend that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong or you wanted to restore it back at a later time, it's easy to do. And we're going to go create the backup by selecting the file tab and then export. File name data that you're making the backup is what I always recommend. Export range, select that as all. Save it to a convenient location on your computer and file name if I haven't already set it. Should be the date in which you're making the backup is what I recommend. And if you ever need to import it back in, just would select file and then import and that would pretty much be it. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to jump into it and we're going to expand the HK local machine folder. So double click on that. Double click on software. Double click on Microsoft, do the same thing with Windows, so just scroll down a little bit. Same thing with current version, and now you want to look for policies. Same thing, and then just left click on the system folder. So if you need to pause the video at this time and just take note of our registry path on the top of the screen, each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. Uh, just feel free and now you're ready to go so you want to look for something on the right side that says enable LUA so you can see that right here if you don't see something that says that you can always just right click in a blank area on the right select no and then D word 32 bit value and then just name it enable LUA as you see here so you want to go ahead and double click on it for value data you want to set this to 1 so if it's any number other than 1 you want to delete it type the number 1 here as it appears on my screen. Left click on OK. Once that is done, you should be able to close out of here. Would suggest restarting your computer for it to take effect, and that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.